Today's video is gonna be a little different. I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time. It's been on my mind for a while and I feel like I'm finally at a place where I have a very clear head about it and yeah, I just want to spill out to you guys and keep it casual. It is literally 9 p.m. right now, but I'm actually so tired. I feel like it's midnight. Also, this makeup is like 10 hours old. Yeah, okay. I have so much that I just want to spill out to you guys. Um, so I guess for starters, I really want to make just a sit down casual video just talking to you guys because I feel like I, although I make a lot of sit down videos on this channel, you know, normally I'm talking about makeup products and materialistic things. Not that that's a bad thing by any means, but you know, this is a life style channel and so I feel like I rarely get to sit down with you guys and just chat and just catch up and just be straight up I do that a lot on my vlog channel and so I feel like any of you guys who watch my vlog channel will kind of watch this and be like yeah no I kind of like understand this whatever but for those of you who don't even um, watch those videos then yeah maybe this is honestly the first time you like really really get to kind of discover a sliver of who I am as a person it can be hard to show your personality through such curated videos that are in specific categories and like the ones that I make I'm not offended if you don't want to watch this totally fine but for those of you who stick around and want to hear me out and have just been watching my videos for a while then I would really really appreciate if you would watch this through and I don't know I just like I want you guys to be on the same page with me because uh, it's been a while since I've made like a video like this so I kind of want to give you guys my perspective on it and where I'm at in life and where I think it's gonna continue and all that stuff whoa that is so weird Weird, like stepping outside of this this is a really crazy video to be making because whoa I don't know I mean I'm not going anywhere but just yeah hold okay I'm gonna keep talking <laughs> also I'm sorry if I swear a lot but like I'm really not trying to have any filter tonight and I as a person swear a f ton so much so much I'm still gonna try to bleep it out but like shit I don't care I say shit all the time <laughs> Sorry guys. Anyways, um, actually this is a really exciting video. I'm so excited to like just kind of uh, let you guys in on what my life has been like. And I kind of want to talk about that. For starters, um, I feel like I've always been pretty clear with this, but you can only repeat yourself so many times. But the reason why I moved out to LA was not for my YouTube channel. It was because of my YouTube channel 100% because you know my manager and my network and all my YouTube friends were out here and all the opportunities were out here and stuff and so I did move here because of YouTube 100%. You guys got me here and I love you guys for that. Like I have so much gratitude and love for you guys. It's insane. I think about you guys on the daily. But I did not move out here to continue my personal work on this channel. Obviously I continued with it because this is my biggest platform and it's a great way of expressing myself and I've been doing this for so long so it'd, be, it'd feel so weird to stop and I just didn't want to. And so I didn't stop. I'm still making videos. I've been making videos for so, over seven years now. But the reason I moved out to LA is to figure out what my next thing is because at the end of the day I know I personally don't want YouTube to be my forever. And that's doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be posting videos forever. I think down the line, down the line, I can see myself vlogging more than like sitting in front of the camera and being like, this is my favorite makeup product of the month. Um, I, I really enjoy being able to share my life and capture memories that not only you guys get to see, but also I get to see when I'm older. I love vlogging so much. It brings me so much joy and that's why I do it a ton. I'm not trying to become a daily vlogger because, oh, I cannot do that. But I love vlogging my life and showing it to you guys. The reason why I moved out to LA is to figure out what my next is. I just personally know that I am the type of person that cannot just choose one task and one challenge and be comfortable in that zone and just carry that on for the rest of my life. So in 2014, moving out to LA, I was this little fish in this big pond, all these YouTubers, and it was super exciting and I was making videos. Then I really started to buckle down and I was like, okay, I need to figure out what I wanna do next because I'm young right now and all these cool opportunities are coming my way, but I want to get my ducks in a row, that's right, that's the term, and start working super hard so that I can save my my ass in the future and create a career out of this. Not that you can't create a career out of YouTube because obviously so many people have, but I personally know as a human being, I just have the want to take on other things and challenge myself in different ways. So when I first moved out here, I got very into hosting, as you guys know. I started doing hosting with Awesomeness TV, then I signed with Teen Vogue and became Teen Vogue's first ever YouTube host, which was the coolest and greatest honor ever. I absolutely love my Teen Vogue family. Yeah, it was so much fun. 
fun covering red carpets and having the adrenaline of just meeting people for the first time and talking to them on camera and you know guiding through this kind of improv -y but natural but scripted conversation and it was kind of my first taste of like whoa I am still doing the same thing but I'm a little outside of my comfort zone and I kind of like it and so I was kind of in that zone that contract lasted a year long and towards the end of that contract I kind of had a moment to myself where I realized this was such a great opportunity. I learned so much about myself and how I kind of work in front of different cameras in different situations with different people, blah, blah, blah. But I realized that hosting didn't really challenge me, I guess, as much as it did when I first started, or it wasn't really challenging me in the ways that I wanted to be, if that makes sense. I don't, it's hard to explain. <laughs> Hosting was this thing that I became so like nervous about and I like to chase after things that make me nervous because it kind of shows me personally that if I'm nervous about something it means that I'm excited and that I care about the outcome and everything leading up to it, right? And so <sighs> here's where acting <laughs> comes into play. Um, obviously you guys see that I'm pretty deep into acting now and it is the greatest freaking thing in my life right now. It is bringing me so much joy and I love it so, so, so much. I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. But basically, going back to the timeline, the story that I've been telling you guys, towards the end of my little hosting adventure, let me take a sip of coffee real quick. I basically sat with my manager at the time and I was like, Okay, acting has always been something that I've been interested in. I've always been fascinated by it and I've always, you know, been curious about it, but it for some reason always felt like this unattainable, intimidating thing that I just never thought I can get to because I didn't necessarily grow up in that sort of environment. There was always a part of me that wanted to try out plays in high school, but I was already on the tennis team, which called for a lot of my after school time. And by then I was already full blown being a YouTuber because I started back in seventh grade. And so I never got to do that. And then moving out shortly after switching over to online school, being 18, moving out here, starting that, there was no time period for me to really take any acting classes or whatever and so anyways you know it always like felt like one of those things that I just thought maybe like weren't in the cards <laughs> um, and towards the end of all of that hosting and that kind of year I had a realization that at the end of the day we are all human right and we are capable of so much more than we believe to be because for any of you have who have seen like my deeper videos where I talk about happiness and motivation and all that stuff you guys know I'm so into your thoughts becoming your reality and um, you know how much of everything that's out here is you know all rooted and it starts from within you um, and so I had this realization of like, oh my God, if someone had told me 10 years ago that I was gonna be hosting on like red carpets for Teen Vogue, I would have screamed and been like, nah, no, 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 I'm not your girl. No, nope, not gonna do that. And then I did it. I kind of thought to myself like, well, if there's something inside of me that really wants to do it, like, let's just freaking do it. I mean, I kind of just jumped in the water head first with hosting. Why don't I try that with acting? And so I hit up my manager at the time and I was like, I don't know how this works. I don't have a lot of experience, but this is something that like I've really been itching to do. Can you just throw me into auditions? As you guys know, Tagged, the show that I am on. That was like my second audition, I think. And somehow the casting director saw something in me, which is awesome. I feel like I, ugh, watching season one for me is like painful because obviously I'm just so hard on myself and I'm such a critic. Anyways, Filming tags kind of started this whole new era of my life, this phase that I'm currently still in and that I'm still growing through and experiencing. I just realized how much I freaking love being on set and telling a story through a different voice in a different world with different characters and under different circumstances. The whole idea of it is just like so freaking cool to me. I just respect the art of acting so much. I think it takes so much energy and so much focus and focus on like being present and preparation and I'm just fascinated by all of it and all the people that all come together every single day for 12 hours working towards the same goal. I think it's just so freaking cool. And so straight after tag season one, I definitely was bit with the acting bug for sure. I came back being like, oh my God, let's freaking do this. Let's go on auditions. Let's do it. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything kind of started to fall into place, right? So booked another show with Awesomeness called The Commute. If you guys have seen that, it's the most darling show ever with uh, Stefan Argus. We actually wrapped season two a few weeks ago and 
I am so, so incredibly proud um, and so excited for you guys to see it. I've like low key been like just completely bugging 